Hi guys! Big news! Midjourney has released the website version of itself and we're about to look at it today. So the new thing right now is called Midjourney Alpha and it's available to you if you go to midjourney.com, log in from your account and it will be available for you if you have more than 1000 images generated. Um, in the end of this video, I'll show you how to check how many images you have generated, but mostly you will know about this because you'll get an email. This is what's going to be available for you. This is called, uh, as I said, Midjourney Alpha. I know so many people were waiting for Midjourney to make a website and not have to use Discord anymore. I don't know what's the problem with Discord. I was fine with using Discord, but I know there were some fans of websites that didn't want Discord. Here we have it. Here we have the website. Let's see what we have here. So we have an interface that allows us to type a prompt directly in the top bar here, which was previously used only for searching stuff in the explore part of Midjourney. Now we can directly use Midjourney from here. We don't have to type the word imagine anymore. We can just type the prompt. So let me paste the prompt that ChatGPT just generated for me because I didn't have much imagination today and you put it in sorry i missed the part you put it in and hit enter is because it's happening so quickly so you put it in and you just hit enter and what you will see is everything disappears it's a bit weird because you would expect something to start rolling but in fact where all of this goes is here into the create tab uh, and in the create tab you see i rolled it two times we have our images being generated so it's a bit of a different experience first of all we have as you can see the images lined up like this which i find very convenient because it's like a bigger display and you can see everything in better detail you can quickly you know access the full size of the image also everything is now on the white background which might be slightly unusual for some people but if you want you can make it black if you're used to uh, discord you have your prompt displayed on the side for convenience and what is also very convenient is that you can have several tools here you can rerun you can use the same text so it pays the same text here you can you can hide it from your um, grid to 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 not see it anymore but that's not very useful i think uh copy download open in discord if you want to go back to discord but what is interesting is that if you open it up like this you have all your usual tools on the side so you can vary you can upscale downscale by the way when i'm using my mouse wheel it just switches from one generated image to another, which is very unusual. Um, you can use panning, you can even use those more advanced tools that happened later in Midjourney's development, like, you know, dragging, uh, dragging your mouse over a certain area and, you know, generating something else there. So every time you submit a job it's going to be displayed here in the create tab you'll see a, an active job would be displaying as a number here um, i think i really like this experience because you know you can type something i don't know let's say a cute 3d fine gloss mock-up of a cup in the shape of a bird and you hit enter and you can forget about it and try to do other things and all of your jobs that you're doing here are going to be queued in the create tab and you're not distracted you know like in um, the discord experience you had all of the stuff being generated on top of your bar and you could be a bit distracted so this is more seamless also, you have this settings tab here and you have very nice control over the image size, image proportions. You don't have to put it the AR command manually anymore. You can also play with the aesthetic look of your image, the stylization, the weirdness, the variety. So all of these were previously Midjourney commands, but now they are available here and you have a nice interface to control all of these. 
Um, you can switch between different modes if you have turbo. I don't have turbo, but I can switch between relax and fast. Um, and you can switch the version from here also. Very convenient. So, and we can reset all of this. And now let's go to our create tab and see if we have, ooh, look how nice. <laughs> this is funny. Um, so we can also download our image. We can, uh, you know, save it to our favorites. We can do all of these additional things. I wanted to show you one other thing that I see here as a very convenient option. You can um, reference images easily now. So you know how in uh, Discord you have to uh, upload an image, then copy the generated link that Discord gives you and then use that link in your next prompt. But here you can just click this plus icon here and just reference any of your images. And let's say, uh, I don't know, just simply wall art, two words. Let's see what it generates for us. Uh, so you can reference images very quickly, very easily like that. You can upload. Even I tried to upload an animated file and it also worked. So very interesting. Yeah, so as expected, as you can see, we have the wall art reference like this and then it gives us these images which are pretty cool i think oh we also have the two options to very very subtle very strong uh-huh and it always builds on the top it always builds another four images on the top i'm really happy about this four image section now it allows me to see everything so clearly i'm so happy about this if we go again to the explore tab, it's very easy to work with other people's prompts and get inspired. So for example, you open up a prompt and you have some uh, options here, like image, style and prompt. You can use either the image and then if you click it, it gets referenced immediately like that. You can also use the style, which to be honest, I, I, I didn't get it yet. I think it's basically the same. I'll test it more and I'll tell you. And you can click on the prompt and just have the prompt here. You can use both, you know, and you already have everything. And then you can customize something like, I don't know, change the aspect ratio. But as I told already, you can change the aspect ratio from here. And I think we generate with simply pressing enter. So you simply press enter and you get some inspiration from other people's work we'll see what they generate for us here now i'd like to show you a little bit around and show you some other tools you have the archive which stores all of your previous works which i don't know where they went oh i just clicked on hidden so if i unhide i i would get all of my images i'd be able to see them here and yeah of course we can open them up do things with them you know it's very convenient now because you don't have to search it you don't have to search anything in your discord chat history you can just go here and work with the prompt from here you know and especially if you want to use the prompt from before the one that you had before you can just click on prompt and it appears here very 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 convenient now on another note let's look at a little bit of a different uh, tool which is to rate images here i think that majority developers are just asking us to you know rate some stuff to uh, basically help the ai to learn and it's interesting because sometimes those are coming from the same prompt while sometimes they are going from different prompts so these two are definitely from different prompts but you still uh, select which one you like more. And you, you, you can just, you know, play with it. Uh, basically, yeah, it, it's just different images. I don't know, you just select which one you like more. And I think that improves my journey's results in the future. Um, another thing here is you can rate ideas so this whole thing with ideas and rating ideas is basically an inbuilt feature request tool uh, that we can use to for example write what we want 
But I think what is best to do if you have a feature that you feel like many people will be asking for, uh, you could go here into the leaderboard and check which are the most popular features before submitting your own because maybe there are some repetitions already, it's quite likely. Uh, we all want the same from a journey, most of us want similar things. Uh, you see everybody wants to improve hands and fingers first and foremost, but also you have here this little thing that's called assign points, which gives you uh, five different options and you can assign how important you think that is. So for example, in Midjourney Esports, I have zero idea what that is. Uh, the ability to, to donate fast hours to someone, maybe if you have friends who do the same, automatic tagging of images, uh, so these change, I saw a different list here like 10 minutes ago, but the, th the thing is you have only 25 points to assign, so give your points wisely, guys. And also, of course, the point of this whole thing for my journey is to capture different bugs and bad performance issues, I guess. So if you would like to report a bug, you can click here and you can have an interface for reporting a bug. That's it for today's video. Tell me what you think. I'm excited about this one. I feel like it's very convenient. Uh, it's very unusual. I still like my brain is still wanting me to go back to my usual discord routine. But I think this, this, this will be the future of my journey. I also like how simplistic the design is, how everything is quite minimalistic. You don't have any, you know, difficult tools around. You just have this white interface with just very minimalistic uh, features, which I find very nice. Let's see how it develops in the future. Check if you can have access to Midjourney Alpha. I promise you to tell how uh, to check it. So if you want to check it, we go to our Discord, we go to our Midjourney bot and just put a command that says info and hit enter. And here you will have how many images you already generated. I have more than 3000. Check your number. Maybe if you will generate, you, you're under 1000 somewhere and you'll generate a couple of more, you would be able to get access to testing the Majorney Alpha as well. Anyway, guys, this was the first sneak peek into Majorney Alpha. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you would like to test something or you would like to ask me something, please let me know in the comments. I answer all my comments. And... See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.